Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Answer is Simple uh, Oracle deck by Sonia Chiquette. And we have here option one, option two, and option three. So I do apologize to those of you who are my regular viewers and those of you who wait for the Oracle card readings um, that this reading is a little bit late. I wanted to try and get it out on Sunday, but I unfortunately couldn't get it out until and now. I want to also say thank you to all my subscribers and all the viewers and especially a big, big thanks to all of you who comment. I really appreciate it when you have commented on the video and when you um, yeah when you give me a like that's really really nice and especially if you have something nice to say say that's always um, in, it goes a long way all right so thank you once again to all of you and I'm gonna go ahead and begin the reading so for those of you who've chosen the first option here we are asking the question what is it that we need to know in this week what is it that we need to know in this week Okay, and the first card that's kind of popped up here, I'm just going to go with that because it feels right. So how do I know if it feels right? Well, for me, it feels right if I if I get goosebumps or if I feel like some kind of feeling going in through my body from my chest into my, my stomach area. And uh, it's this kind of special feeling that I get. Or alternatively, I just know that it's right and I don't question it. And uh, that's the feeling I, well, I got now. Um, so the card we have here is... It's number 15 and it says, open your heart, okay? So I feel that here, um, this card talks about a situation which you may be confronting, which asks you to be a little bit um, more open-minded or to think outside of the box with regard to what it is that you need to be doing or what is, what, what is your next step here. I feel that here you are called uh, not just to open your heart and to be more open-minded or to be more uh, compassionate in this regard uh, or in, in any regard that that concerns you right now, but rather also to be able to think in a way that you would normally find challenging. So you might find at this point that you're more likely to be able to change your mind about some things, or you might find that uh, something that you were really adamant uh, against you would now find encouraging or appealing. And so the, in this moment, it's almost as if all the barriers fall away and what you have before you is a state which allows you to be more open. It almost It's almost like it's giving you the permission to, to choose again. And this time is talking to me about you being able to choose again or to be able to change your circumstances as a result of having a different mindset, as a result of opening your heart, as a result of feeling better. This card also talks about um, bringing stress outside of your body. So when we have, when our hearts are closed or when our, um, when we are feeling adamant against something or we, we are feeling, we are experiencing dissent or discord within us, then we're very likely to experience these emotions internally and that impacts our chemical structure in our bodies and causes things like inflammation and ill health. And this card is actually talking to you also about being able to bring yourself into better health by being able to reduce your um, anxiety, your stress, any feelings of being overwhelmed, anything that might be causing you any kind of stress right now this is a really good time to be able to come over that. So I'm also hearing here that this is a time in which you will be assisted to overcome that. So you might be receiving some kind of guidance outside of you that will actually help you to bridge this gap, to be able to move past this. So in terms of this, this card, the message is, it's almost like create the space in your heart um, to look forward to new things. And this is going to bring down barriers. It's going to bring down walls. And you're going to realize that you can look at something different. You can, you have the permission to look at something in a different light and to be able to appreciate it in a different way. And therefore, it's a more palatable version of what you have been thinking about so far. So if you are, if you are planning, for instance, to make a move or to do something, and you've been looking at the grass as being greener on the other side, or if you, you've simply been missing an old home and wanting to return to that state, 
or to be to being doing to doing something that makes you want to feel like well it makes you feel not want to feel it makes you feel like you need to return to something that's older or something that's better um then what this card is also saying here for you is take a closer look at what you have at you, available right now because you might be um you might be pushing what you have away from you right now you might not have given the current environment that you have the the chance to be appreciated you might be it might just need maybe there's nothing wrong with your current state maybe you just simply need to well or the or the relationship that you are uh, asking about so it could be referred to like your, your your work or your relationships or uh, a kind of mood or a club that you are part of or even where you live uh, whatever it is that you're asking about right now or whatever that state of mind that you're experiencing right now if you had to look at it in a slightly different way if you had to come at it from a different angle what you'd find is that it is a more palatable version and one that you can actually live with okay so that's your message for those of you who've chosen the first option so for those of you who've chosen the second option here the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know this week? Or what is it that we need to know right now? And we have Talk to God. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull another card as well. So it's the number 11 and it says Talk to God. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and pull another card because I feel that there's something else that needs to be spoken about here. Okay, so the card is number one and it says get over yourself. So um, one of the things I've heard as I was shuffling now is that in terms of talking to God, okay, if you if there's a decision that you need to make or if there's something where you're stumbling, if you're feeling that you may have an obstacle, even if it's something as simple as not knowing what to get as a Christmas gift for a person or any kind of gift, even if it's something as simple as that or not knowing how to resolve a problem at your work state, the guidance here is to ask for guidance within yourself. So it's almost like you need to actually go inward and ask what is the answer and almost surrender yourself almost surrender yourself to what that answer is going to be so it's like you are being told here that um steal your mind okay commune with yourself i feel like i use that word often in these oracle card readings um but commune with yourself be still with yourself and ask out loud what is the answer to my question what is it that i need to hear and it feels to me like the answer that you're going to hear is almost going to be like, no, I can't do that. No, this is not something I can do. And the answer to that is this card here, which is saying basically get over yourself, as in allow yourself to, to appreciate more voices than your own. You may be boxing yourself in. You may be saying to yourself that it can't work like this or it can't work like that because uh, I can't possibly do this, or there's that to consider. There's all these different things. There's all these different criteria or reasons that you cannot do many, many things. And these are not excuses. You ha are valid in having the, that outlook or these difficulties that you're facing right now. But what you really need to do at this moment is stop and listen. And it feels to me like the answer that you're going to get is not the answer that you want to hear. And at that point, what you'll need to be doing is actually giving yourself the chance to consider something else, consider something that's different. And, you know, you may, let me just use this as an example. It might be that you're living somewhere where the neighbors are really annoying you and they just don't understand your perspective. And, you know, you're just asking, like, what is the solution to this? Should I move? Should I get them to move? Uh, what should I do? Should I make a complaint um, to the body corporate or um, whatever your um, arrangement is there? Should I make some kind of complaint? What is it that I should do? And the, the question here is really, I mean, the answer here is really to get over yourself, really to just take a step back in and get over yourself in the sense that not letting that 
uh, take up so much of your headspace, not letting that take up so much weight in you, not letting that be a burden on you. So getting over yourself here, it's not just a rude way of saying, hey, you're not important enough or your, your concern is not important enough. You need to just disregard that. It's not saying that at all. What it's actually saying is that you need to just rearrange what's in your mind in terms of what's taking up all that space in your mind. If it is, this, we're going along with this example of the neighbors, if these neighbors are really annoying you and um, it's taking up all that space in your life, it's up to you at this moment to be able to say, okay, I'm just not going to let these people take up so much of my headspace. I'm just not going to let them, I'm not going to let, because they're not really taking over your headspace, right? So it's more like you allowing that and you are engaging in that. So it's about you to choose whatever it is that you want to do any, uh, or what it is that you want to think about and not letting that control you. And in this way, you're getting over yourself. You're getting over that part of you which is debilitating you and working against you. And you actually focus on working in, in, to get, sorry, in terms of working towards getting yourself into a state of harmony. And that harmony is that space that you bring yourself into every time you access the divine, every time you're making a divine connection, every time you're coming into yourself into a space of stillness and you're connecting to a world that's greater than, than you, to a power that's greater than you, and understanding that you are part of this. And this is what the answer to your question is. It's really basically telling you to get into that place of stillness and be there. Because right now, whatever is taking you in any other direction, it's, you are basically led astray and in order to come back into a place of peace you need to be able to get back into that state where you're either meditating or that's just you know one example but whatever it is that you need to do to bring you back into that state of peace for some people it's cleaning for some people it's drilling for some people it's like some kind of carpentry work or for some it's swimming for some it's it, it could be anything right so bring yourself back into that place of, of, of prayer, so, so to say. And that prayer can take many, many forms. And get over whatever it is that's debilitating you. Get over yourself uh, and whatever it is that's debilitating you. So that's the message for you, for those of you who've chosen the second option this week. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, the question we're asking ourselves today is, what is it that I need to know at this time? What is it that is going to be of assistance to me as at this time? What is my advice, my oracle guidance for the week as we go ahead? So we have the card. Um, see if we can get that into focus. There we are. We have the card 57 and it's, it says, call my call your spirit home. So it's calling your spirit home right now. So this card for me talks a lot about uh, being in a state of frenzy or, um, well, it's not the card that talks to me about that. That's the feeling I'm getting. I'm getting being in a state of frenzy, having a lot to do, having a long list of things to, to do, having deadlines, having people to interact with, a lot of people. And it's almost as if that every time you're doing something or every time you're interacting with someone or every time you are doing anything in which you are not able to be mindful and not able to be indulgent in terms of giving time to yourself, you are losing a part of you or you are losing simply the time that you would have for you. And so this card here is talking about, for me, it's talking about calling your spirit home in that way. Now, I don't get the sense that this card indicates that you might have need some kind of soul restoration or that you might need some kind of um, you know spirit work where your you've your spirit has left your body in some way and you need to come back. I don't get that that is the depth at which this card is talking right now. I feel that this is simply about you gathering yourself up at the end of the day after you've gone out and you've done whatever you've needed to do or even if you stayed indoors and haven't spoken to anyone at the end of the day you gather yourself up and you bring all of yourself back into your body. And you can do this in a ritualistic manner or you can simply do it with your thoughts. So in a ritualistic manner, you might want to do it under the shower or in a bath. Or you might just simply light a candle or, you know, have a cup of tea or 
whatever it is that you you feel uh, drawn to doing and whether it is uh, playing a certain sport or doing whatever it is once again that you're drawn to doing and you bring yourself together in that way it might be that you go and have a swim in the evening before you come you go to bed um but it's it's something like this it's bringing yourself together at the end of the day so that when you are going to sleep this fragments of yourself that you've lost along the way or that's been displaced along the way as part of your daily process as part of your daily interaction realigns itself and resituates itself inside of you so that the next day you may actually access the world once again whole and new and restored in a, in a way that you feel that you're completely there i feel that this card is warning of um a, a sense of depletion a sense of being exhausted of being completely drawn outside of yourself like drawn inside out almost because you'll be so busy with so many things and this might have to do with this festive season that's ahead of us that you've been you you could be you run the danger of being completely depleted and losing yourself along the way and this may lead to feelings of um feeling down or feeling sad or bursting into tears or or simply just um not feeling whole and why while that might not be how you're feeling right now if you are not going to adjust yourself or prepare for the frenzy a frenzied state that is to be or that is upon you at this moment then you might find yourself in bursting into tears or at your wit's end in a few weeks from now so this card is basically talking about taking care of yourself in a spiritual way taking care of yourself in terms of bringing yourself back to you are you still thinking about the interaction that you had at the, with the cashier at the supermarket five from five hours ago when you were lying down to go to bed or are you still thinking about what happened yesterday or words that were spoken or that missed call where somebody called you and uh, and said something harsh to you and, and or and put the phone down or or something i don't know whatever it is that you could be thinking about this is not this is also um leading to you feeling more depleted along the way and this is actually what we need to work towards in order to bring you into a place of clarity and uh feeling whole again before you rest yourself to sleep at night or during the day whenever you are going to sleep the other message that i'm hearing here is that you don't see, uh, think of social interactions as being that which is depleting you don't see it in that way those social interactions that you are engaging with at this moment if you are engaging in social interactions they are really important the important part they are important part of you they're not bad per se it's just that what the impact that it has on you uh, it unravels you it can it, it frazzles you and you need to basically bring yourself together from that point of view so don't see these social interactions as something that you shouldn't do don't say to yourself okay i think i'm not going to do that or i'm not going to i'm going to decline that uh, pop, that party invitation or that dinner invitation or wherever it is that i was supposed to go to don't think uh of of that or don't think of of doing that it's not necessary rather is what i'm trying to say for you to do that it's rather that you can go along and you can actually just enjoy but ensure that as you're doing so that you are also taking care of yourself and that you're bringing you're not losing yourself along the way um and you're not um uh, you know left behind 3 days ago you left behind a piece of you when you said goodbye to a loved one you that that is not what you need to, to be uh that's not going to be the healthy way for you to go ahead in this time frame and this is the message that is your message for this week and so that was a very specific message and i do hope that it applies to you and i do hope that uh, all of you've come by today uh, found these messages to be useful and that they will be of help to you and i wish you all a very beautiful week ahead blessings abound from kismet rising